Welcome to this presentation. My name is Omolo Mavis. I work for the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Center for Global Health Research, under the program of HIV Implementation Science and Services, Kisumu, Kenya. The topic of my presentation is the role of men in maternal and child health services and its influence on prevention of mother-to-child transmission in Subasub County. This presentation has been nested from a cross-sectional study that was looking at men's knowledge and perception of male involvement in MCH services and its influence on the attendance that was conducted in Suba sub-county, Homabi County, Kenya. My outline involves background, objectives, we look at the methods, I look at the results, the limitations, and finally, the conclusions. And to start with the background, we find that Sub-Saharan Africa, male involvement has been generally minimal, and this has been res as a result of the societal expectations on gender roles, where childbirth and pregnancy has always been considered a women affair. But again, we have the benefit of men having a role during the MCH services. And this includes better access and adherence to clinical services. It includes safe delivery. It includes health literacy and even reduced mortality rate for both the mother and then born baby. And we find that Homa Bay County is the current leading county in HIV prevalences in Kenya. And what is our objective? We want to define the role of men during pregnancy, during antenatal visits, during delivery, and during postnatal period, and the associated significance it has on prevention of mother-to-child transmissions. From the cross-sectional study that was done on men's knowledge and perception of men involvement on men's involvement in MCH services and its influence on the attendance, we had two methods that was qualitative and quantitative. So from the qualitative methods, we had four focus group discussions with adult men and women who were married, at least having one child who was less than five years old and or a pregnant spouse. We had six key informant interviews with the chief, with the religious leader, with the mentor mother's leaders, with the clinical health assistant, with the community health extension worker, and with the nurse. And both the four focus group discussions and the six key informant interviews, we were looking at men's attendance during ANC and postnatal care. We were looking at the knowledge of men on male involvement. We were looking at the perception of men on male involvement. And we are also looking at the factors that influences male involvement. And the analysis of this data was done using electronic qualitative data analysis tool, and in particularly in Vivo 8. From the four focus group discussions and the six key informant interviews, we had the following results. We had three major roles of men during the maternal and child health services visits, and one was the role of the provision. The men had a role of providing transport to the health facility. They had a role of providing any requirement that was needed during the antenatal visits, during the delivery, and also during the postnatal visits. The men also had a role of accompanying the mothers to the MCH clinics. And finally, they had a role of decision making, which were greatly influencing the intake of HIV testing and counseling services, and also the choice of delivery, where we had safe hospital delivery versus traditional birth attendance. 
we had two barriers to these rules. Sorry, we had four barriers to these rules, and the first barrier was societal expectations. And we find that generally, the society expected pregnancy and childbirth to be women's affair. Society expected the men to be providers of the family, and super subcounting being a fisher for community, the major income for the men were the fishing was the fishing industry. So we find that most of the time when the women were going to the clinics, the men were either in the lake fishing or from the lake fishing and they were unable to accompany the mothers to the MCH clinics. In another barrier we find to these roles was that of the cultural taboo. The Suba subcounty people considered working with a pregnant woman as a taboo. They saw it as more of female dominance. Like, this is a weak man. You are supposed to be working with fellow men, not working with a pregnant woman every time to the clinic. They were also the taboo of a man was not supposed to be present during the delivery moment. So this greatly hindered the men to play their role during delivery and during antenatal visits. We had issues surrounding HIV testing and counseling, which was a great barrier, and this made most of the men resort to traditional birth attendance. But again, we find that the role of men in MCH services greatly influenced the PMTCT uptake. Why? Because it determined the HIV testing and counseling services access to the pregnant women, it determined the adherence to care, it determined safe hospital delivery, and also prevention of HIV transmission to the newborn after delivery. What were the limitations of this study? We find that the general population was not presented, was not represented, because the only population that was taken care of here were adult men and women who were accessing health services at the comprehensive care clinics. And in conclusion, we find that for a better PMTCT uptake, we need to recognize, we need to strengthen the role of men in maternal and child health services. And finally, we need more intervention to increase male involvement in maternal and child health services in Suba sub-county. Thank you.